Hello YouTube and welcome to Brainstorm where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the field of genetics where researchers in California are perfecting a new form of gene therapy. Current gene therapies use a virus to insert a gene into a cell but they are not actually incorporated into the genome. The new method uses molecules called zinc finger nucleases to remove a target gene from a cell's DNA, after which a cell's natural repair mechanism will replace the gene with a modified copy also injected with the nuclease. The latest tests of this method were on baby mice and turned their severe hemophilia into mild hemophilia, which is a significant achievement. With more testing, the researchers hope to increase the overall effectiveness of this treatment. Our next story comes from the world of technology. Scientists in Vienna say that the substance graphene could lead to increased data transfer capabilities. Graphene is a form of carbon, one atom in thickness and in a honeycomb pattern. You see, when signals are transmitted with fiber optics, the light still needs to be converted back into electronic signals. This is where graphene's unique properties come in. Experiments done show that photodetectors made from graphene could potentially transfer data up to 30 gigabytes per second. In other news, an asteroid is going to hit the Earth by 2170. Maybe. But a for sure thing is NASA's mission to send a robotic probe to the asteroid to collect samples. Set to launch in 2016 and arrive in 2020, the probe is going to search for potential organic or water-based compounds. If found, this would suggest that similar bodies initially supplied the molecules necessary for life on Earth. It also opens up the possibility of asteroids being resources for future missions into space, allowing manned ships to resupply on vital compounds on the way out of the solar system. Our final story comes from the world of robotics. Scientists at the Technical University of Munich are developing robot skin. The skin will consist of tiny hexagons packed with a variety of sensors, including infrared to mimic light touch, temperature sensors, and accelerometers. Right now, they only have small patches of the artificial skin on a robotic arm, but they hope to eventually have robots with entire shells of these sensors allowing them to utilize tactile information and better navigate their environment. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing, and don't forget to check all the links in the video description. Thanks.